Hello friends, so here is another question on half wave rectifier circuit. So the question is that a half wave rectifier circuit supplies 100 milliampere DC current to a 20, uh, 250 ohm load, load resistance. And there are certain parameters which are asked here to find out. We have to find the output voltage, that is the DC output voltage the peak inverse voltage rating of the diode, the RMS value of the voltage, the form factor, the peak factor and ripple factor. Okay, so first let us draw the circuit diagram. So here we have the supply. Here nothing has been mentioned so we will assume that the diode is ideal. No, no, no information has been given about the forward resistance. So we'll assume that the diode is ideal and the forward resistance is 0. This is the diode and we have the load resistance RL. RL is equal to 250 ohm IDC is equal to 100 milliampere. These are the two data which is given. This is the supply voltage. Nothing has been given about any data related to it. Okay. Now, you remember the formula for the DC output voltage for a half wave rectifier. It is equal to IDC into RL ok here both of them are given IDC is equal to 100 milliampere converting it into ampere it is 120 minus 3 RL is equal to 250 ohm that is equal to 25 volts which is the DC output voltage the first parameter which has been asked ok VDC then here the diode is ideal nothing has been mentioned ok nothing has been mentioned so we'll assume that the diode is ideal diode ok this as nothing has been mentioned so here we can directly use the voltage values we know that VDC or the average value of the voltage or DC value is equal to Vm by pi or V peak or maximum value of the voltage divided by pi ok that implies here V max is equal to pi into VDC which is this here V out DC same thing as VDC so here it will be equal to pi into 25 volt which is equal to it is coming around <coughs> 25 into 3.14 ok 78 0.54 volts around 78.5 okay 78.5 okay, volts this is the maximum value of the voltage so it means that this AC supply it is like this okay both the positive and negative peaks are like this 78.5 volt during the peak positive half cycle and during the peak negative half cycle it is minus 78.5 volt this okay this now why we have determined this because it has been asked to find the PIV rating of the diode now the peak inverse voltage is this peak inverse voltage which is the maximum value of voltage in the negative direction or the during the negative half cycle this 
this is a positive half cycle this is a negative half cycle so maximum voltage during the negative half cycle of supply this is the peak inverse voltage okay this so we have covered that also next is rms value of the voltage so rms value which is vrms is equal to v max by 2 okay for half wave rectifier v max is uh, we have determined v max is 78.5 okay 78.5 divided by 2 that is equal to Thirty nine point two five, thirty nine point two five volts. That is the RMS value of the voltage. Thirty nine point two five volts. This is another parameter which we have determined again using the basic formula. So it is always important to remember these formulas. Then is form factor, peak factor, and ripple factor. Okay. Now. The formula for form factor, if you remember, form factor is equal to RMS value by average or DC value. This is AC or RMS value, okay? This so here we will see take the voltages so v rms by v average or v dc so v rms is here rms value is here we calculated 39.25 dc output which we have calculated the dc value is 25 25 volt so that is equal to let us calculate 39.25 divided by 25 1.57 okay this then we have the peak factor peak factor again remember the formula it is the peak value or maximum value divided by the RMS or AC value this so here the peak value we determine the maximum value is 78.5 divided by the RMS value is 39.25 that is equal to 2 this is the peak factor then the ripple factor ripple factor is given by if you remember the formula it is equal to RMS value by average value or DC value whole square minus 1 root over this so here it will be as we are taking the voltages VRMS by V DC or V average whole square minus 1 root over now if you remember here we have calculated V RMS by V DC this one okay this one here V RMS by D V DC we have already calculated that ratio that is equal to 1.57 so simply we will put that value here okay which is 1.57 whole square minus 1 root over equal to 1.57 whole square minus 1 that is equal to 1.21 1 1.21 that is equal to the ripple factor so here we have determined first 
the peak factor okay the maximum value by the rms value the form factor which is the rms value by the dc value or ac by dc value ratio this one and then the ripple factor which is rms by average whole square minus 1 root over which is equal to 1.21 so again a uh, very uh, important question from the point of view that you have to remember the formulas okay always remember the formulas then only from the given data you pick one end it's just like picking one end of the string you follow it and using the different formulas you can get all the results so here it was given idc value rl value from that we determined this v output from v output we got the v max value this from v max we got the v rms value okay from v rms we got using the vrms and vdc values we got the form factor we got the peak factor and we got the ripple factor so everything is connected just like different links of a chain okay one is related with the other you find one you can get the other but you have to remember the formulas you have to know how these parameters are interrelated okay that's why remembering the formulas is very important okay